Hello everyone, it's Sort Rider here and welcome to another week in toys. Um, I'm looking a little bit bright today. I look a bit like teenage. <laughs> Remember that show on Nickelodeon? Anyway, today is Tuesday the 2nd of June and I've got a parcel. And this parcel I ordered oh, about 10 days ago now. It was shipped last Wednesday just before the Jubilee. And uh, yeah, it arrived today. So this is from Comics and Cocktails. And uh, it was a figure I was hoping to find in person when I went up to Burton upon Trent. It wasn't there. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit vexed to buy this. Um, but also, I'm very excited to get it. Um, it is to accurate Cyclonus. Uh, really, really wanted this, especially after picking up the old Toy Accurate Galvatron as well. And yeah, I was really, really, really excited to get it. Uh, as you can see, it comes with... Uh, oh, drop it everywhere. As you can see, it comes with Nightstick. And uh, yeah, the top of them up. Now, interestingly, there has been a few discoloration issues or misassembly issues with parts from uh, the original Cyclone. Some wrong colours and that. I think that mine is perfectly fine now. And wow, look at that. That is awesome. That is oh, so nice. The colour is perfect, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to obviously have to put the stickers on him, because he does come with some stickers, I believe, let me lift him out, you can try and lift him out, yeah, yep, so here's Cyclonus' stickers, um, so yeah, I'm going to get him all stickered up, uh, the colour is amazing, more cartoon accurate to be honest, and the light piping looks really, really good as well. Ah, oh, this this thing looks great. Uh, I'll show him the once he's all stickered up. Uh, excited to have this guy, I really am. So today is Wednesday the 8th of June and I've got a big parcel from good old Hasbro Pulse. Uh, they had this 40% sale on. Um, if you spend 60 quid, then you get 40% off. They had some really awesome deals, to be honest with you. And I could have spent a little bit more than what I did. Um, but, I mean, I didn't intend to pick up any of these unless I saw them cheap, and uh, these were really cheap. These were almost, I suppose, retail prices rather than exclusive prices. Oh, well, come on, Asbro Pulse. What are you playing at here? So, they've sent me this big box, and inside, they've put two smaller boxes. What is that all about, Asbro? And it's got more plastic inside. It is shattered glass Megatron um, now I wasn't in on the shattered glass stuff I, I did pre-order blur and I cancelled it I did pre-order him and I cancelled it and uh, as you can see the box has got oh, is that meant to be that flat I don't think it is no it's meant to be like that um, but yeah I picked up him because actually you know I love this mould Ruby Zazu will probably ever go at me again for, for buying this mould this is the one two three fourth version of this mold i did have five but i sold the original earth rise one this comes with some extra parts so it can look like the megatron from shattered glass and yeah it you know what it was standard price i think i got this for 23.99 pretty awesome and the other cool thing as well i didn't think i was going to get this is uh, i've got the comic in there so how cool is that really really chuffed sure with that yeah so that's number two um so yeah that's pretty awesome. I should have really got Blur so I could get number one, but, but never mind. Never mind. But yeah, so I've picked up that one, which is cool. And then in the second box, in with all the plastic, we should have another shattered glass figure. And uh, you can probably guess it isn't Blur. And I should have bought Blur now, really. Though. But I did pick up the gold book here. Um, now, I know this is another version of this mould, and God, how many of these have I got? Cliff, Hubcat, Bumblebee, Christ, lots of versions of this mould. Um, but yeah, this is a gold bug. Um, I haven't got uh, a generation style gold bug, and uh, I like the head on it. That head's new, so that's awesome. And I think we're going to have a version of the uh, gold bug in the new, in one of the four packs that's coming up. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd get Goldbug as well to push him over the, the 60 quid mark. And again, we got number four, we got Goldbug. That's awesome. 
So today is Saturday the 18th of June. I've just got back from the gym, hence the funky uh, top here. And uh, I'll come back to a parcel. And I think you can kind of tell what's inside it already. Um, this is from Kapow Toys. And I was kind of expecting one of these figures to come out. And the other one, it's named on the box here. Um, I wasn't expecting out anytime soon, to be honest with you. I thought it maybe would be an August type thing. But we seem to have landed the other day. And it's mental that I've got a Wave 1 figure, the, the final Wave 1 figure that we've been waiting for with the lead out Wave 2. So there's a little bit of a clue there about what's inside. Um, but first up, we've got Transformers Legacy Blitzwing. Um, a lot of hate about this guy, especially about the, um, the jet alt mode and how... Um, how it's kind of almost a duo time you can take out a pin and the alt mode's completely different i have zero issue with that um i'm fully aware that this is a toy and it needs to uh cover three modes rather than two i personally think the tank's pretty cool yes there's a, the cockpit here but that's fine and i don't yeah the, uh, the jet's a bit of a chunky boy but it's not too bad these hands are very odd i have to say very very odd but this bit swing will be made in robot mode anyway. Uh, this box feels a lot smaller than the Laser Prime one. I might be wrong, but it definitely feels a little bit smaller. So yeah, we've got Blitzwing, the first figure from Wave 2. And as I, as I said just, we've got the last figure from Wave 1. This is uh, RC. Um, I wasn't too fussed about this figure, same with Bulkhead. I wasn't too bothered about picking them up, but Wave's been really, really spaced out. It's kind of nice to pick them up one at a time, and so forth. Might as well get RC, so which is all about. Um, she looks all right. Um, probably one of the weakest looking ones from the photographs and the reviews and all that kind of stuff. You can really see this is going to be mold's going to be used multiple times. Um, but you know what, for the price, I thought I might as well pick her up and uh, see what she's like. And Muffy also received this day and he's been sending lots of photos and she looks pretty good to be fair. So I'm looking forward to having her up. But yeah, uh, two new Transformers, both from different waves. Really, really happy to pick them up. Today's Sunday, the 19th of June, and uh, I'm wearing my Bulbasaur Pokemon t shirt, which I wear when me and Oliver go on toy hunts. And today it was the Stafford Showground. Toy Fair, the first time I've ever been to this one, and it's actually a little bit more local than my my usual NEC one, which which was pretty cool. Um, I never even thought about going to this one, but it was really good there, a lot smaller than the NEC, but they seemed to have more stuff and different stores, which was really, really good. Uh, really enjoyed walking around there. I met my mate James uh, there, Oliver came with me, of course. And uh, yeah, it was, it was absolutely awesome. Um, I really got some really cool stuff. Um, but before we get into that, let me show you some of the stuff that I've opened that I spoke about previously. So I've opened up uh, Shatterglass Megatron. Stunning. Love this thing. One of the best versions of the mould. Absolutely love it. Still got the head issue, kind of, but it's a little bit tighter than the original Earthrise one. Happy I got it. Uh, what I'm a little bit more disappointed in is little gold book here. Um, probably because I've had this mould this many times. It is all right. I like the head sculpt, but I really need a G1 version of him. But it's cool, nevertheless. Happy for what I paid for him, what I got. Uh, and then, of course, I opened up the mighty Blitzwing yesterday. He is awesome. I've only had him in tank mode. He comes packaged in tank mode. I quickly transformed him into robot mode last night. And he's awesome. I really, really like him. He comes with two guns, which I, I didn't realise. And also... These hand missile pods can actually be transformed, so you put the hands inside, so it's less obvious. So I think, yeah, I think there's been some mistransformation on some of these. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is cool. Um, they are better than I thought they would be, and actually work all right in tank mode, a little bit out of proportion. But Blitzwing here is absolutely amazing. Now... Let's get on to the hall, shall we? The showground today, the toy fair today. Uh, I'll show you a couple of pictures while I'm talking. Um, there was two rooms and there was loads of cool stuff in there. I managed to, there was uh, Geeky Nerd Toys were there. I don't think there were any pictures of them. Um, Magnum Prime was there. He, he was pretty awesome to see. Uh, we spoke before, but um, I didn't realise that he looked the way he looked. <laughs> Believe it or not, his profile picture on Facebook was different to what I remember. He had some really, really cool stuff, some box 
beauties of G1, absolutely amazing. And he told me on message later that uh, later on that he only he sold twelve pounds worth of MicroMasters all day. That was it, which it's a shame. Swings and roundabouts. Uh, there was also another cool store which uh, which was um, uh, run by Chris Mead. You might have bought stuff from Chris on Facebook, and at the time I didn't know it was Chris Mead, uh, but I. Uh, I found it afterwards, and I'll get into the story of, 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 of that in a bit. Um, but it was cool. There's some really, really cool stuff there. There was a cool Terminator arm there as well, which was really cool to see. Loads of Arnie stuff, and I could have spent a lot more than I spent. Um, but I'm happy with what I've got. I've got a decent haul. Oliver had a little haul, uh, so I'll let him explain what he got. I got these fun toys there. Did you? I did. Yeah. Yeah, super cool. What did you get, Rex, eh? I got Rex from Toy Story. Yeah. I know I'll talk about my name is Ford Buster. Yeah. And I got a Lego Lego. And I got three Lego. Two Mr. Turtles. And one snake. Yeah. And I got this red Venus guy. And yeah. I got this one toy there. Yeah. See, so yeah, and also Dave Shotton sent him a uh, a package in the week full of little turtle figures. So Oliver's got a little thank you message for Dave. Thank you, Dave, for giving me turtles. Don't have hair like you. So on to my haul then. Um, and I walked straight in. I think it was King Street Toys. I think it was King Street Toys. And I spotted a figure on there straight away. Luckily, I was able to pay for this by on card. Um, simply because there was no reception in this place at all but it just so happened they were by a window and managed to get some uh, reception I got two items from there uh, I think they wanted I think it was about 17 quid for them individually and I got them both for 15 so the first one I picked up was Black Series Boba Fett this is a figure that I did really want to pick up but I didn't want to pay the what 20 is it 23.99 now in Smith's these are far too much for this figure um, uh, and I saw it there for 12 quid straight away and I thought you know what I'm going to buy it uh, saw it had his gun saw it, it had his pistol but uh, I didn't realise until I got home uh, that he's missing his, his gaffy stick um, now I've got one on a Tuscan Raider anyway so it's not an issue uh, but that becomes a little bit of a theme for today I've bought some cool stuff but the, the shine's taken off some of it because there's little bits missing but yeah it was 12 quid and this then was 3 quid um, it, it uh, I made the deal for both of them being 15 quid. It's this little Cyberverse one step bludgeon. I'd seen this in the shops a good few times and I did fancy it. And for, for three quid, I thought I may as well pick it up. So it was 15 quid for those two, which was awesome. Um, then I stumbled across this figure. And again, this was a figure that I, I, I hadn't really seen about that much. I've seen the other one in the way, but never this one going cheap. And I always thought I'd get for cheap. This was a fiver. It was the Protoform Starscream from the first Transformers movie. Um, Magnum Prime told me afterwards that uh, this um, suffers from Globe Plastic Syndrome, which is a little bit worrying because I've had some of them break on me before. But nevertheless, you know what, for a five, I'm happy to pick him up. He's missing his weapon. Again, something missing. But never mind. Happy to have that. Happy to pick that up. And then uh, the rest of my purchases all came from uh, Chris Mead. And he had some amazing stuff on there. He really, really did some amazing, amazing cool stuff. Um, the first one I kind of stole from under, under the nose of Toys R Us. Uh, he was looking at it and, um, yeah, he, he he let me have it, bless him. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, Power of the Primes, Nemesis Prime. Uh, this is a figure that I fancied picking up before. I actually really like this mould, uh, but I tend to, and I haven't got it out at the moment, but when I tend to display this, I display the Orion Pax figure because it's the most G1 accurate version of Orion Pax. But this was there in truck mode. Uh, it come with the two swords. It was missing these two blasters and his man gun. And... Uh, he, he told, uh, Chris told me, and didn't know it was Chris at the time, uh, he told me that these ones are missing, but I didn't clock the gun at the time. Now, these are actually from the Netflix spoiler pack, Nemesis Prime, because the same guns come with that. Um, and I thought, well, you know what, I hate those guns on that figure. I might as well add it to this one and kind of complete it. Uh, and I'll get into how I've possibly and hopefully got his gun uh, at the end of the video. So, yeah, I picked up him as well. 
he was cool. And then he had like this big box at the back where he apparently bought a lot from um from someone quite recently and he hadn't got to sort them out but he bought them with him and there was me james russ all searching through uh, and i found this in there and this is a knockoff nemesis prime from the bumblebee movie i've seen these all over aliexpress um he hasn't got the gun and i'm not too bothered about the gun i'm going to transform it back into truck mode because the truck mode looks stunning um but yeah i picked up him and he was a five ant so that was an awesome awesome little uh little purchase it was a fiver so i doubled up on nemesis prime today i didn't think i would get one nemesis prime today let alone two and then i was rummaging through a box at the back and i spotted this which is uh one of the sweeps from the platinum edition um is it armada set basically the sweeps and cyclonus uh in midst of transformation and i saw this sitting there in the box and i thought well you know what that's awesome. Um, I'll pick up that. It's kind of good to go along with a clear Galvatron, you know, the um, transforming Galvatron. I know the scale don't work, but clear plastic works, and I think that might look quite kind of cool in the display. So I picked up that. Um, didn't realise at the time the top part, the gun's missing, but again, doesn't really matter that much. A little bit loosey-goosey on the wings, but I think that's due to mould degradation rather than anything else, and this clear plastic as well. Uh, this one has some awful, awful... Um, paint <laughs> overlap on the forehead i might try and get that out but yeah i spotted him and then james picked up this cyclonus um and i said oh no way um and james went to me if you want it you can have it so he chucked that to me as well uh, so i thought oh that's awesome you know what i've got the uh i've got the scourge version transforming and i've got the cyclonus version with his gun never realized that was actually universe cups gun that comes with this didn't realize um, and I was still rummaging through the box, and then I found the other sweep, which is kind of like DevCon, isn't it? I think Dave Shotton told me this when um, uh, when uh, I sent him a picture of it. Again, the wings were a little bit loosey-goosey, but it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I, I got basically the entire set of, of this three-pack, minus the tiny top parts of the guns, um, which don't matter really, does it? Again, the story today, though, there's bits missing. Um and I made a little deal for those three and throw in another figure. And this is that figure. This is Hound. Uh, Universe Hound. And uh, I always fancied picking this up. And I can't ever remember seeing it in person before. But I always thought that this version of Hound is actually better for the G1 shelf than the Siege one. And I've always toyed with the idea of picking it up. And I am going to stick it on. Oh, throw him on the floor. I am going to look at st sticking him on the, um, on my shelf and replacing a Siege version. Shocker. I like that figure, don't get me wrong, but this looks more like a hound. Anyway, I got home and I was a little bit disappointed. Um, and this isn't Chris's fault at all. Um, there were some bits missing from him. So he mentioned that Ravage wasn't with him and I was cool with that. And I was even cool about the gun not being there. Like, cause I was like, okay, well, if he hasn't got the gun, that's fine. I didn't realise until I got home because I wasn't um, aware of this mould that he's missing a grill here and he's missing his, his bit off his pants here as well. So there's bits missing off him, which which is a real shame. Um, but um, this is where the good news starts. So I got, uh, I, after help by Toys R Us and a few people on Facebook, I posted a picture on, on um, old Facebook and said, like, does anyone know who this is? I want to see if I can get something else off him. And um, anyway, Russ did the rounds and one of his comments uh, mentioned it was Chris Mead and I bought off Chris Mead before, just never realised that was him when I was there. Um, so I spoke to him anyway, uh, sent him a message and he's managed to find some of the pieces, not all of them, but he's found some of them in his box of bits, which I'm really happy about. And uh, I think I'm probably going to buy something else off him and he's going to send them through to me, fingers crossed. So that'll be cool. Not the waste piece out. That's a bit, I mean, I I really wanted the grill and the white waist piece and I would have been happy with this. I think what I might have to do is, is buy another figure and uh, replace that or find a junker or something like that. But this hound is beautiful. This is the best hound we have had in my opinion. Not 100% G1 but more than the Siege one anyway. Um, And that's it. That's what I picked up. So it was a pretty awesome haul wasn't it? It was a really really good day. I picked up a black series figure that I wasn't expecting to get. And... Uh, Loads of loads of chuck that I 
I never even thought I'd get my hands on. And you know what? I love kind of these kind of repaints because we've got the, the Siege versions now or the Earthrise version or Kingdom version or, or whatever it is, the latest versions of these figures. But some of these classic figures are absolutely amazing and having them in slightly different deco that can still fit into fit into your collection is pretty awesome because we can still get some love for these. Oh, one thing I did forget is Chris threw in Nightstick here, which I don't think actually comes with that figure. I don't think it comes with a set. I might be wrong. Um, but nevertheless, I've got another Nightstick now, which means he can go with this Cyclonus maybe, and maybe I'll replace the one that came with it to make him a little bit more toy accurate. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway... I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you went to Stafford Toy Fair, please let me know what you found. Let me know what you, you, you were rummaging through. Um, let me know um, what you think of my haul. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for another week in toys. So until next time, I have been Zork Rider. Look after yourselves and I'll catch you again very, very soon.